These story threads would have changed everything. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 scrapped TV show plot lines. Uh, I'm you. I'm talking to you from a future phone. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at proposed plot lines or plot points for TV shows that would have altered the course of their entire series, but were ultimately never implemented. Also, because we're going to be discussing the plots of these shows, there will obviously be spoilers ahead. Maybe it's time for a change. God change. Number 10. Spencer is killed. Pretty Little Liars. Do you want me to go back to the church? Yes. Spencer Hastings is the leader of Pretty Little Liars' titular clique, and arguably the series' protagonist. Yet her actress, Troyan Belisario, lobbied repeatedly to kill the character off. Belisario's reason for wanting her to die was to raise the stakes for the group, as being without their leader would have forced the other liars to grow and change in new ways. Spencer had several brushes with death during the series, and was even impersonated by her evil twin several times, but Belisario's plan for her character never saw complete fruition. Sweet dreams. Number 9. Klaus Dying in Season 3 – The Vampire Diaries Have you been listening to a word I've been saying, Ray? I have great plans for you. Niklaus Michelson, better known as Klaus, is a charismatic vampire werewolf hybrid who acts as an antagonist in the early seasons of The Vampire Diaries. You are supposed to be dead. What are we going to do about that? The show's creators originally intended for Klaus to be killed at the end of season 3. However, the character proved so popular that not only did he appear on and off for the most of the rest of the series, but he also received his own spin-off show, The Originals. If he had died when originally intended, The Originals would never have existed and Klaus's oft-teased relationship with Caroline would never have gotten as far as it did. Which wasn't far enough in our books. Number 8. Bailey and George – Grey's Anatomy Which resident you signed to? I got Bailey. Nazi? Me too. Some characters end up very different from how they are first envisioned. The hard-nosed Miranda Bailey, whose tyranny over her interns was bad enough that she was nicknamed the Nazi, was originally going to be named Deborah and was supposed to be lacking in social skills. Not only that, but she was also going to be in a strangely steamy relationship with George while he was an intern. Whether Bailey had the name Deborah or Miranda, seeing her hook up with George would have been bizarre, and if she had still been married to Tucker, quite scandalous too, likely derailing both of the romantic paths taken by each character. Our marriage is falling apart and she sends you to save it. Tucker. She's in surgery. Number 7. Carol Dies Instead of T-Dog – The Walking Dead You should stop! I'm getting you there! You should stop! <laughs> what? Sit here and wait to die? This zombie apocalypse series features characters dropping left and right, so it should come as no surprise that the creators sometimes had a hard time deciding on who lives and who dies. Season 3 saw one such moment of indecision as the folks in charge killed off T-Dog, but they had considered having Carol die instead. The writers were unsure what to do with the character at the time, but she's gone on to become a fan favorite, with several memorable and dark moments that have made her stand out. Still, we can only imagine what path T-Dog would have traveled instead. This is God's plan. He'll take care of me. Always has, is he? Number 6. The Janitor Was Imaginary – Scrubs What's going on? Ted and I are putting together an air band for that contest at the bar. One of the most colorful characters at fictional hospital Sacred Heart is the unnamed janitor. 
prone to nonsensical tall tales about his personal life, as well as bizarre hobbies and inventions, the janitor is extremely fun to watch, partly because a lot of his dialogue was improvised. Is any of that true? Someone would have to read it back to me. Yet, his interactions with the other characters, besides protagonist JD, almost didn't happen, since it was originally planned for him to be another part of JD's overactive imagination, which would have been revealed at the end of season one had the show not been picked up for more seasons. Thankfully, the show, and the janitor, had a brighter future that saw the character get into plenty of adventures with other characters. Let's make cancer feel foolish. Number 5. Rose's Darker Origins Doctor Who My name's Rose Tyler. I've got a friend he can help. He's called the Doctor. The first companion of the revived Doctor Who series is Rose Tyler. And while she's often seen as many people's ideal companion to the time-traveling alien Doctor, due to her being their first impression of the concept, she was nearly literally designed that way in the show. One aborted season one episode would have seen the Doctor, Jack Harkness, and Rose visit Pompeii on Volcano Day, a concept later revisited. We're in Pompeii. While there, Jack would have uncovered that Rose was actually an experiment by the Doctor to genetically engineer the perfect person to travel with him. This would have completely altered his dynamic with Rose, and likely would have prevented them from having the sort of romance they later have. I love you! <laughs> it's quite a bit. Number 4. Tara Resurrected Buffy the Vampire Slayer Your shirt. Tara? We considered discussing the alternate death for the vampire Spike, which would have seen him be killed off by Angelus in Season 2. But instead, we're choosing to focus on a character who would have returned to life. The shocking and upsetting death of Tara proved quite controversial among fans of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So much so that creator Joss Whedon thought about bringing her back to life with magic, much like some of the other characters in the series. However, by the time he was ready to do it, the actress who played Tara, Amber Benson, had already moved on, so the plan was scrapped. Then they told me to look for you in the store. I didn't I, I didn't know that you were coming. Number three, Joey and Monica, friends. Hi. Hey. Despite its title, much of the ongoing storyline of Friends revolves around the romantic relationships between the characters. While Ross and Rachel and Chandler and Monica ended up becoming the series' it couples, this wasn't always the intention. At first, the plan was to feature Monica and Joey being the focal couple, but this was scrapped early on, though it was revisited when Season 3 came around and even sort of referenced in Season 7. When I went to your room that night, I was actually looking for... Joey. Clearly though, no matter when this pairing happened, it would have completely shaken up the group's dynamics in the show, and probably even altered their character growth. Would Joey have given up his womanizing ways? Would Chandler have romanced Rachel or Phoebe? We can only guess. So Chandler, I'd, I'd love to come by tonight. Number 2. Jesse Dying in Season 1 Breaking Bad I should have known to say, Jesse, don't leave the keys in the ignition the entire two days! I wanted to leave them on the counter! Bitch. Jesse Pinkman, Walter White's former student and partner in meth cooking, is an integral part of Breaking Bad, and his relationship with his increasingly toxic mentor was one of the defining dynamics of the series. Rumor has it Jesse was potentially slated to die in the first season, although some sources claim that the writer's strike that cut the first season short saved Jesse's life. Creator Vince Gilligan credits Aaron Paul's talent as an actor with endearing the character to the writers. Still, we have a hard time imagining what Breaking Bad would be without Jesse. I just drop the whole concerned dad thing and tell me the truth. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I, I know it's tough, but look at me. I know it's tough, okay? I know. But we have to be tough right now. something wrong? Honey, are you jealous? No, I'm not jealous. I'm just asking a question. That is adorable that you're jealous. You like that? 
Who are you? Who are you? You never even noticed me. What? Of course I did. You uh, you sat next to Sleepy Sleeperson. Number one, Jack dying in the premiere. Lost. The pilot episode of Lost is one crazy wild ride, but it and the series was almost even crazier. The initial plan was to introduce the series protagonist Jack, the heroic doctor, only to kill him off midway through the two-part introduction, helping to illustrate that any character could die. Kate was instead planned to be the plane crash survivor's leader after his death. Jack dying in the premiere would have irrevocably changed the series, as his relationship with all the characters and theirs with each other, the lives he saved, and his complete journey that tied Lost together at the beginning and end would have never happened. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.